If you have a USB MIDI keyboard, a lightning to USB adapter, and an iPhone or an iPad, you can connect up your keyboard and record using GarageBand or any other app on your iOS device. But what if you've got an iPhone or iPad that doesn't have a headphone jack? How do you monitor your signal as you're recording? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you a device for less than $20 that can help you do just that. Let's go. And what is that device? Well, it's this device. It's a USB sound hub. Now, what is a USB sound hub? Well, it's a cross between a USB sound card and a USB hub. And why is this so useful for your iPhones or your iPads that don't have a headphone jack? Well, if we connect it via our lightning to USB adapter, then we instantly get a three and a half mil headphone jack in here, which is super cool. And we also get three USB ports. So we can connect up our MIDI keyboard, plug in some headphones, and we're good to go. Now, there's links down in the descriptions to where you can pick up this device or similar devices on Amazon and on eBay. And you can also check out the lightning to USB adapter there if you don't already have one of those. But before you do that, let's jump in and put this to the test. All right, we're set up and ready to go here. The first thing I need to do is connect up my MIDI keyboard to the USB sound hub. The next step is to take our USB sound hub and connect that to our lightning to USB adapter and then connect this into our iPhone or iPad. And what you'll see there is the little orange light comes on there and then this blue light starts frantically flashing. Now, that means it's working funnily enough. When I first used this device, I thought flashing light means bad, yeah, but no, that means it's functioning as it should. So this is all connected now, but the problem is if we play our keyboard, nothing's going to come out because it's using this as our sound output now. But that's actually a good thing, in fact, a great thing, because all we need to do now is plug headphones into our headphone socket here, and we'll be able to monitor our keyboard sound. So what I would do now is grab any pair of headphones. I've got my Sennheiser HD 280 Pros here, and I would plug those in to the headphone jack here. So there is a headphone, as well as line out, and as well as a microphone. So you've got quite a bit of flexibility with this one, but we just want the headphone jack for this purpose. However, you're not gonna be able to hear that still because it's gonna be coming through these headphones. So what I'll do, just so that you can hear it in action, I will plug this through my mixer so that you can hear that in the audio of this video. All right, the moment of truth here, let's put this to the test. Yes, we have our keyboard working perfectly here. We can monitor that through headphones. Now, yes, I'm monitoring it through my mixer, but you get the point here. We've got a headphone jack for our iPhone or iPad, and this is useful not just for your MIDI keyboards, but any other time you want a headphone jack. Yes, you need your lightning to USB adapter as well as this device here, but if you have those two with you in your kit bag, you're gonna be able to listen back to your sound on your iPhone or your iPad, regardless of whether you have a headphone jack or not. Now, there are alternative setups. You can use powered USB hubs. You can use audio interfaces. And I'll link some videos up there and in the description if you want to have some alternative ways to actually monitor your sound. But if you're after a solution that's very practical and very cheap, then you can check this out. And these are available pretty much everywhere at Amazon, eBay. And as I mentioned, there's links down in the description. There's some affiliate links there which you can check out if you wanted to pick up one of these devices. So there you go. I hope you found this useful. If you're one of the many people that have been asking me, Pete, what do I do? How do I get a headphone jack? How do I monitor my MIDI keyboard using my iPhone or my iPad that doesn't have a headphone jack? Now you know. Thanks for watching. There's two more videos linked down below there. You can subscribe by clicking or tapping in the top right corner and I'll see you on the next one.